Hello painters, I'm Debbie from acrylicpouring.com, back today to try out a new product. So in the past, if you've watched my videos, you'll see that I've done quite a few experiments with sealers for ceramic tiles. So if we do a pour on a ceramic tile and want to use it as a coaster, there's only a limited number of options I found for how to seal it so that it doesn't stick to a hot cup. So today I'm going to try something completely different. I'm going to try some uh, paints that don't require any sealer at all. These are the ones that I'm picking. These are the Deco Art Gloss Enamels and I've just picked three colours. I've got a red, white and a blue. So I don't think we can expect awesome paintings today, but what they look like is not so important as the way that these, um, these paints are going to perform for us. So the, the, um, these are still multi-surface acrylic paint. They're Deco Art Americana Gloss Enamels. Um, I've got True Red, True Blue and uh, White. And what's good about these is that you cure them for four days and then you um, bake them in the oven. And the idea is when they come out, then they are permanent, they are hard, and they don't need any kind of sealer on them. So I thought I would test that. Now, baking anything in the oven kind of makes me a little bit nervous, especially if I'm going to kind of recommend that to you. So um, that's why I've never done anything like that before. But today, I think I'm gonna mix these just with water, um, and therefore I'm not gonna um, change the paints really by adding anything like a pouring medium or flow troll or anything like that. So I think just the paint and the water will be safe for us to put in the oven. They've all been tested obviously and passed all of the necessary safety standards. So that's why I'm confident in using these and recommending them to you if they work out. So I've got some paints mixed up and all I've mixed them with is water. And then just to see if we can get any cells, I've also added one drop of the treadmill belt silicon into each of the colors and given them a little bit mix around. And I thought I'd try and do two. I'm gonna do a little, a little mini dirty pour on this one. And then if I've got enough paint left over, I'll come and do a swipe. As usual, the, um, the actual painting this time is not what's gonna be important. It's gonna be how the, um, the tiles and the paints um, perform once I've baked them and whether they pass the hot coffee cup test. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, throw a few paints all around and I'll be back in a little bit and we'll take a look at the finished ones and then how they um, work in the oven. So my two tiles are poured. I have my dirty pour on this side and this side I have my swipe. And I don't know if you noticed, but um, when I poured the paints, there wasn't an awful lot of cells going on, which is unusual for me because I normally get a lot of cells. And then when I used the torch, wow, there was an explosion, especially here in this dirty pour. And again, in the swipe, lots and lots of cells came through when I used the torch. So that was a nice, pleasant surprise for me. So now I need to leave these to dry. Apparently it takes four days. I may have a little bit longer because of course, when we pour paints, they're thicker than they are than when we just paint with a brush. So I'll probably leave them a week and uh, then I'll put them in the oven and I'll report back to you how that worked out. So these are the tiles now dry. These are the two that you saw me do. This is just a, a third one that I did with the leftover paint, just the runoff that I had in my cup. So I just threw them together, which is kind of a little bit muddy. Um, and that was the, just an extra tile for some testing. These ones have dried really, really nice. Um, I've just given them a wash off actually, but the, um, the surface was nice and glossy. The paint stayed exactly as it was. 
all the cute little cells that I got in here when I ran the torch over it, those have all stayed and it's a really nice bright colourful surface to them. This one I had a bit of an accident with as you can see when I was moving it I managed to stick my finger in it and that happens, happens to us all. Good thing is these are just for testing. So what I've done is carefully cleaned off the residue of any silicon. Of course the silicon rises to the top of the paint because the oil and water doesn't mix. So I cleaned off the silicon and these are now going going in my oven and I'm going to bake them according to the instructions on the bottle and then we'll take a look and see what they like. So my tiles are out of the oven and they're cool and I had mixed results with them. Now I did put them in the oven as instructed, I put them in a cool oven, baked at 325 for 30 minutes and then let them cool with the oven door open and uh, there was no fumes so that was good, there was no fumes, there was no smell, there was anything unpleasant. However I got mixed results with the finish so let's take a look. Uh, let's start with this one. This one is the one where I did the swipe and I have to say it's also the one where I put my finger and it was damaged and you can see the paint on this tile was ridiculously thick. Um, and that was there for a reason because I wanted to see you know whether pouring would make any difference compared to painting. So the paint on this one is very very thick. Let me see, there we go. I think you can see in places this one actually bubbled when it went in the oven and those bubbles didn't disappear when it cooled down so the surface on this one is no good this one is bust however these other two where the paint was kind of just a, a regular poured thickness it wasn't ridiculously thick like this other one these have come out beautifully okay that's this one the paint color didn't change at all nothing changed the only thing that happened is it went more glossy so that it's a little bit more shiny now than it was um, before I put them in the oven and this again don't worry about the colours because this is just my uh, leftover pour kind of a dirty one with the colours that I had left over and as you can see the surface is lovely very smooth very glossy uh, no problem with that at all so this one was a bust if you're going to use these gloss enamels you really um, don't leave it on ridiculously thick because they will bubble later on or maybe it wasn't quite dry because of the thickness maybe I need to leave it cure a little bit longer so we will do our hot coffee test with these two tiles. So I'm going to go and boil up some water, bring up some cups and we'll see how they get on, see whether they're going to stick. So my mugs are hot and I've even then put them in the microwave so they really, really are hot and I've had to use a cloth to, um, to pick them up. So I'm going to pop them on my coasters, wait 30 seconds and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. Let's give them a try and see if there's any sticking. Mug number one. Oh dear. Well, that I hadn't expected. I kind of thought these were going to work. Let's try number two. Yeah. Oh, not as stuck. Okay. But the, yes, the same. Let's see, this one. Stuck pretty well. And it's made a slight mark in the surface of the tile. So that is disappointing. If you want to uh, use these paints, let me, let me go and find them. These are the ones, the Decor Americana Gloss Enamels. They're really lovely paints. Um, they're good to use and they make a really, really nice glossy finish on the ceramic tile. But these paints, they didn't pass the 30 second test with the hot mug because unfortunately they did stick. Now I'm really surprised. I thought these were gonna be a winner. But yeah, they're kind of stuck, stuck for sure. I mean, it's only a little bit, but um, yeah, they don't pass. I wonder though, if you put one of the um, finishes on the top, that might work. Definitely if you put resin over the top of them, it would certainly work. And maybe if you use some of the spray finishes too, then that would stop the sticking into the actual gloss paint itself. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this experiment interesting. And look out for some of these gloss paints. You can definitely use them in your acrylic pores. And they do look really cool on tiles, even if they did not pass the test. See you again soon.